okay hello welcome to chemistry and tool so what we are going to do today is we are st starting with last moment preparation for electrochemistry now i'm going to give you some tips about electrochemistry last moment formulas and the list of formulas how to solve it how to tackle it the complete detail of electrochemistry i will be posting a new video which will be later on where i will be teaching the complete electrochemistry now this video will be only as exam point of view so let us start with electrochemistry first of all now we all know electrochemistry is a part of physical chemistry or electroanalytical chemistry where we study interconversion between electricity and chemicals electricity giving you chemicals and chemicals giving you electricity now for doing all this conversion what you require is a cell that is called as electrochemical cells now in electrochemistry there are two types of electrochemical cells the first one will be called as electrolytic cell and the second one will be called as galvanic cell now what you do in galvanic cell is you convert chemicals into electricity or either rather i can say that chemicals are giving you electricity whereas in electrolytic cell what you exactly do is you convert electricity into chemicals or you can say electricity is utilized to produce chemicals now this is the synopsis of your chapter what you have got in your 12th standard hsc board examination in under galvanic cell what you can study is daniel cell you can study is dry cell lead accumulator battery you can study fuel cell now when you go to electrolytic cells the topics which you need to cover is faraday's law electrolysis aqueous nacl and molten nacl electrolysis conductivity and molar conductivity do not forget to do units si units and cgs units of conductivity and molar conductivity other other than this there are some miscellaneous topics that you need to cover that is cell representation very important types of half cell there are types of half cell given oxidation and reduction half cell then you have got electrochemical series very important for numerical point of view and then what you have got is corrosion now the points where i have marked star are more more important or rather i would say they are very important please do all this topic very well so we'll be starting with galvanic cell i will be giving you all the formula list for galvanic cell and then i will be giving you the electrolytic cells formulas okay so let's start with galvanic uh, now what you see on your board is a daniel cell now it has got two containers a container which is on your left hand side the other container which will be on the right hand side always remember जो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में कंटेनर होता है उसमें ऑक्सीडेशन होता है सो ऑक्सीडेशन विल बी टेकिंग प्लेस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड रिडक्शन विल ऑलवेज टेक्स प्लेस ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेनियल सेल दिस विल प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विद द हेल्प ऑफ केमिकल्स नाउ हाउ इट प्रोड्यूस लेट से यू हैव गॉट अ जिंक विच इज प्लेस इन अ जिंक सल्फेट सोल्यूशन यू गॉट अ कॉपर विच इज प्लेस इन अ कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन दिस बोथ दी सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड बाई अ सॉल्ट ब्रीज डू रिमेंबर दी फंक्शन ऑफ सॉल्ट ब्रीज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन योर बोर्ड्स now whenever you dip a zinc sol rod in a zinc sulfate solution atoms of zinc will oxidize and they will come into the solution forming zn2 plus ion so what will be the reaction the reaction will be the reaction will be zn getting converted into zn2 plus giving you two electrons so this is zn solid which is coming out in the solution giving you a ion that will be obviously aqueous so this reaction will be called as oxidation reaction so this is an oxidation reaction and the next reaction that occurs will be on your right hand side that is copper you all know that will be copper 2 plus present in the solution along with sulfate minus 2 so this copper ions will go towards the rod they will accept an electron and they will get discharged over there so copper 2 plus copper 2 plus will accept two electrons from the rod and it will get converted into copper so this is copper aqueous and this will be copper solid now this is an overall reaction the reaction that is taking place over here will be reduction so you can say this is reduction taking place over there and because of this there will be a net reaction there will be a flow of electron how there will be a flow of electron as the electrons zinc will be coming out into the solution it will leave behind two electrons zinc jaise hi solution ke andar aayega apne do do electrons ko rod pe छोड़ के आएगा ये दो इलेक्ट्रॉन उस रॉड में से ट्रेवल करेंगे दे विल रन फ्रॉम द रॉड दे विल रन फ्रॉम द बल्ब एंड द बल्ब विल ग्लो ओवर देयर एंड दे विल बी कमिंग इनटू दिस रॉड सिंस इस रॉड के ऊपर पॉजिटिव चार्ज डेवलप हो जाता है दैट इज बिकॉज कॉपर ने वहां से इलेक्ट्रॉन को एक्सेप्ट किया होता है this is how there is a potential developed between these two electrodes and there is a flow of electron now since this i am representing it as a flow of electron that flow of electricity will be in opposite direction from positive towards negative rod do remember electrons and current flows in opposite direction now what will be the net reaction over here two electrons and two electrons will get cancelled this will be zinc solid plus copper 2 plus that will be in aqueous state getting converted into zn2 plus that will go in aqueous state giving you behind copper and that will be solid so do remember net reaction will help you in solving the numericals how net reaction will help you in solving the numericals you all know there are formulas for galvanic cell the list of formulas that i'm going to write right now is the first formula that you get over here will be e not of cell so this will be e not of cell standard cell potential yeah standard reduction cell potential this can be written as e not of cathode 
e not of cathode minus e not of anode now how to identify which one is cathode and how to identify which one is anode so for that what you need is a cell representation how to represent a cell now we can represent this cell very well how can you represent this let us start with salt breeze now salt breeze will always re be represented by double lines over here now towards your left hand side it will always be oxidation so oxidation and since it is oxidation it will be called as an anode towards your right hand side it will always be reduction since this is reduction this will always be called as cathode so how to identify anode and cathode so always remember right salt bridge right hand side will be cathode and left hand side is gonna be your anode now how to represent a cell now let us let us start with from your left hand side so first of all what you have got is a rod so you will be getting up a rod which will be of zinc now this rod is in contact with the solution of zinc sulfate so a single line which represents the contact between the rod and the solution and then you will be representing the solution present over here now there are different ways of representing a solution either you can write only zn2 plus and its concentration or sometimes you can write even zinc sulfate and its concentration similarly when you go towards your right hand side you have got a copper rod so how will you represent you have got a copper rod which is solid and it is in contact with copper 2 plus and you can write down its concentration or you have got copper sulfate and you can write down its concentration am i correct now this will be your cell representation always remember the flow of electron is from here till here so electrons will flow in this direction and the flow of electricity will be in opposite direction this will be the flow of electricity am i correct now so how to identify e not of cathode and e not of anode obviously just look at the reactions and look at the given conditions you will find out this e not of cathode will be this e not of anode will be for this reaction now if the solutions if the solutions are not given in standard condition e not of cell is found out when the solution when the condition are standard condition what are standard condition one molar concentration when atmospheric pressure and you have got 25 degrees celsius that's are standard conditions if conditions are not standard then you use a very beautiful equation that's called as nost equation what is nost equation e of cell will be given by e not of cell minus 2.303 rt upon n into f into log to the base 10 this will be concentration of ions this will be concentration of ions divided by concentration of ions now what are this concentration of ions this concentration of ions will be for product and this concentration of ions will be for your reactant side if your product and your reactant have got gases so this will be partial pressure of gases of product side partial pressure of gases of your reactant side now do remember we take concentration only for ions solids do not have any concentration for example i can write this nurse equation for this whole reaction so what will be the nurse equation for this reaction this will be e naught of cell which can be found out with the help of e naught of cathode minus e naught of anode minus 2.303 rt upon n into f log to the base 10 a concentration of your product side divided by concentration of your reactant side so what are the concentration in your product side the only ion present in your product side will be zn2 plus so it will be concentration of your zn2 plus ion divided by concentration of your copper 2 plus ion since the only ion present in your reactant side will be copper 2 plus we do not take concentrations of zinc and we do not take concentrations of solid since they are in solid state of copper am i correct if there would have been any gases so obviously you would have right over here you would you will write over here the pressure partial pressure of your gases now this is nost equation which can be used the other formula which are very important for galvanic cell will be delta g gives free energy now standard gives free energy has got a different formula and only gives free energy has got a different formula the only difference will be this minus n f e not of cell this will be minus n f e of cell so for finding out Gibbs free energy, standard Gibbs free energy, you need to know E naught of cell. For finding out Gibbs free energy, you need to know E of cell. Now there's one more formula which is very important. That will be Gibbs free energy will be equal to standard Gibbs free energy plus R into T ln of K equilibrium. Now this is equilibrium constant. Why this formula is used? This formula is used in your numericals. Your last numerical of your textbooks, HSC, HSC board textbook will be based on this formula. Now, how to utilize this formula? How to use this formula? I will, I will be writing over here. Now, how to utilize it? At equilibrium, at equilibrium, we have studied in uh, thermodynamics that at equilibrium condition, Gibbs free energy comes out to be zero. 
Am I correct? So this will be placed at 0. So the formula left will be 0 equal to delta G naught plus RT ln of k equilibrium. So delta G naught will be equal to minus of RT ln of k equilibrium. Remember this is equilibrium constant. So somebody can ask you, uh, yeah, sometimes even in question it is asked that find out gives, standard gives free energy and you are given uh, equilibrium constant. So it's very easy. You put up the value and you can find it out. But many a times the questions are twisted. They will be giving you k equilibrium but what they are will be asking you is E naught of cell. So how to find E naught of cell? Because we very well know gives free energy delta G naught will be equal to minus NF E naught of cell. So you can modify this formula as minus NF E naught of cell will be equal to minus RT ln of k equilibrium. Minus minus will get cancelled. So it will be very easy. E naught of cell E naught of cell will be equal to RT ln of k equilibrium divided by n into f. Now to convert now to convert ln you can multiply it by 2.303 so the formula will get converted into 2.303 rt log to the base 10 of k equilibrium divided by n into f. So this formula will help you to find out e naught of cell. Now I don't think there are more formulas than this for galvanic cell and with the help of these formulas with the help of these concepts you can easily solve any numerical related to galvanic cell. Now sometimes people get confused with this n. What is this n? Now this n is the number of moles of electrons involved in the redox reaction. Do not write only half reaction. The reason is there is one more formula in electrolytic cells that will be for Faraday's law where you have got n and that n will be only for half cell reaction. Over here when it is Nernst equation it will be overall cell reactions. This is going to be this because let us say let us say you have got a you have got a cell reaction which will be involving let us say silver and let us say which will be involving aluminium. So at that time the value of n will be modified. How it will be modified? Let us say your aluminium is undergoing oxidation. So the reaction will be aluminium undergoing oxidation. It's giving you Al3 plus plus it will be giving you 3 electron. And let us say silver is getting reduced. So it will be Ag plus plus 1 plus 1 electron getting converted into Ag. So this is will be your reaction. So this will be a solid. It will be a solid. It will be aqueous and it will be again be aqueous. So for this reaction if somebody asks you what will be the value of n. So obviously the value of n over here will not be 3. It will not be 1. How to find out this value? Please multiply it, make it balanced. So how to find it out? You have got 3 over here. You have got 1 over here. So do multiply it by 3. Am I correct? And in this case it will be 3 into 3. So if you multiply it by 3 this will be 3 times Ag plus. This will be 3 times electron and this will be 3 times silver. So the overall reaction over here will be aluminium that will be a solid 3 electrons 3 electrons will get cancelled aluminium which will be a solid plus 3 times Ag plus 1 getting converted into aluminium 3 plus plus 3 times Ag that is again a solid this is again a solid. So your Nernst equation over here will be modified. How it will be modified? Since you have got your product side, your product side has got only aluminium. So it will be modified over here. It will be giving you only aluminium 3 plus concentration. But when you go towards your reactant side, you have got Ag, which is having a stoichiometry of 3. So you will be writing over here Ag plus 1 with a stoichiometry of 3. The stoichiometry will go up into the power. I hope you got it. The next example that we can take over here is let us say let us say you have got a copper solution. You have got a copper solution. So copper is getting reduced. So it will be a copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons giving you copper. So if you write down the net reaction for this, it will be aluminium plus copper 2 plus getting converted into aluminium 3 plus plus copper. I'm not writing aqueous in solution. Please do understand that. So this will be plus. Now for this reaction, if you if you see, it is not balanced. The reason is you have got 3 electrons over here. You have got 2 electrons over here. So you cannot write 3 or 2 in place of N. So what, what will be the equation? You multiply it by 2, you multiply it by 3. This is going to be 6, this is going to be 3, this is going to be 3. You please rub it out. You have to multiply it by 2. So this is going to be 6, this is going to be 2, this is going to be 2. Now your reaction will be 2 times aluminium, 3 times copper 2 plus, 6 electrons, 6 electrons getting cancelled. This will be 2 times aluminium 3 plus, plus copper it will be 3 times. Now what will be the value of n over there? The value of n over there will be 6. So value of n over here is going to be 6. So what will be the changes over here in concentration terms? The changes over here in concentration terms will be if you look at your right 
hand side that's your product you have got aluminium 3 plus you will be having concentration of aluminium 3 plus but raised to 2 so it will be squared if you look towards your reactant side you have got copper 2 plus which is, has got a stoichiometry of 3 this will be copper 2 plus with a stoichiometry of 3 i hope this much information is quite enough for solving all the numericals related to galvanic cell and all the numericals which are related to cell representation if you look in your textbook after numerical number 20 if i'm not wrong after numerical number 20 there are numericals which are related to cell representation where you need to find out e naught of cell where you need to find out gibbs free energy where you need to find out e of cell so in help in solving those numericals this formula will help you out the next will be electrolytic cell we'll continue later